Hey everyone, today we are going to look at No Cash GBA, the Nintendo Game Boy Advance, and some versions let you play Nintendo DS games with it. Emulator. We are going to start with allowing you to download the emulator and then extract the contents to a folder of your choice. I tend to have all my emulators in an emulator folder. Open up the No Cash GBA folder and have some ROMs. I can't tell you where to get ROMs because I own all the ones I'm using in this video. When you extract the No Cash GBA, you see a battery folder when you first open a game, a slot folder, a DS-1 SD for the SD card in the Nintendo DS, and all these other files that I don't know what, quite frankly, they do. So, once you have your games, you're going to have to drag your game into the nocashgba.exe and that'll start up the emulator. But you're going to want to map your controls while the game is loading. So go to options and controls setup. And right here on the right side in this row are all the controls that you can map. And if you don't know how to map controls, you see where it says up? Click right here and map it to the key that you want to use for your up key. I'll swap it for a second. And see, I hit the down arrow on my keyboard and switch to down. But I want to go up when I hit up, not down when I hit up. So I'm going to hit the up arrow key. Bam! What? And that's how you map your keys. And hit save now. And look at that. All the keys that I mapped and bound to my keyboard work. And look at how clear the game is. But let's make this a little bit bigger. Ah, much better. And it runs pretty good. At least better than when I first had it 12 years ago. Wow, they fixed it up quite a bit. I think this is the 2016 version. And that is a basic breakdown of how to use the NoCash GBA emulator.